Melissa from Northland Express here with some great information how even though it may be later in the season you can still reclaim your backyard from those pesky biting mosquitoes. The best way though to do this is going to be start at the source. Mosquitoes breed in water so it's important that rather than just swatting them away or covering yourself in mosquito spray that you actually take care of the problem and that's by either treating or eliminating standing water sources around your property or area that you're trying to enjoy without mosquitoes. It's really simple to do. Of course, the first thing is to take a little bit of time, go around your property and look for sources that can be holding standing water. Now, mosquitoes really don't require a total pond to breed or a swamp. It can be as little as two tablespoons of water, depending on the species of mosquito that is all it takes for them to be able to breed and they breed just like mice as many as they can reproduce thousands of eggs each time they lay them and they lay them multiple times a week so the best thing to do is find things around your property like flower pots the trays are on the bottom they tend to hold lots of water if you've got a garden that you're watering regularly and the ground's uneven it can pool water that's a perfect breeding source if you've got a hubby that likes to tinker around the garage but he's got some spare tires laying around those are a perfect source for mosquito breeding bird baths sprinkler hoses, anything around your property that can potentially hold water is potential mosquito heaven as well. So I've got some great products here today that are going to be effective mosquito solutions at the source standing water. So first, like I mentioned, make sure you're eliminating as many of them as you can, but I understand that there's some places of standing water that you just can't eliminate and you need to treat them. So I've got these products here today that are going to be great solutions for that. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna start first with the garlic berry. This, this is an all natural product it's actually 100% concentrated garlic juice now you don't want to use this directly it's actually a, a great repellent as well but when we're treating standing water with it you mix it with canola oil according to the directions and it's going to float on the surface of the water now when mosquito larvae are in the water I'll give you a little scientific background here what they do is if you notice they actually hover above just below the water surface so this mosquito barrier mixed with canola oil is going to put a film over top of that water and it's actually going to suffocate the mosquito larva out very effective way to treat the mosquitoes at the source and again it's all natural so it's going to be safe for you pets humans and as well as the fish and any water life in the area that you're treating next is going to be the mosquito bits this is great for like I was talking about if you've got small sources of water like flower Flower gardens that you're watering regularly. Um, also eaves, if you've got eaves, you can treat these with it. Bird baths, flower pots, anything outside that you've got, these are going to be great, but it's good to use these for the smaller areas. They're very simple to use. You just sprinkle a few granules and they're going to effectively kill the mosquito larva. Now the way the mosquito bits work is they're actually a mosquito larva side. They're harmless to humans, pets, birds, other wildlife, but to mosquitoes it creates a bacterium that's actually deadly to the mosquito larva, so they cannot continue to grow they actually die off. Once this dissolves and it affects the water that the mosquito larva is in, that's how that's going to work. And it's going to be effective. It's going to work within 24 hours. So you'll, you won't really notice it because the way you are going to notice it is that the mosquitoes aren't there because that larva never had a chance to grow up into adults. Now, if you've got larger areas of standing water, like maybe a swamp on the perimeter of your property, or you've got a pond or horse troughs because you've got some horses or livestock, these mosquito dunks are going to be the better option for you. Now, if you've got any, you want to stock up on the dunks and you've got smaller areas as well the dunks can be broken up and used that way and the other nice thing about dunks is if you've got a spot maybe you get some flooding you live close to a river where it floods and then backs off and it's only a real problem in the beginning of the season you can still use the dunks because even if they dry up and then get wet again they're still going to be just as effective as the day you put them out again these work by using that mosquito larvicide that's a bacteria that's harmful to the mosquito larva but perfectly safe for humans and pets and other water wildlife the way you use these is you're simply going to want to throw them in. If you're trying to treat a specific area in the water, you can also tie some type of string to them and anchor it to the shore of the water that you're trying to treat. But effectively, they're going to work if you just let them float around as well. So it's best to make sure that if you really want to get a real grip on your mosquito problem, that you're starting at the source, where the mosquitoes breed, and the mosquitoes breed in standing water. So first, evaluate your property. Make sure you're removing any type of an unnecessary mosquito heaven, like bird baths, flower pots that hold water, any type of extra things laying around, buckets, flip them upside down, don't let them hold water, things like that. Eliminate any unnecessary standing water, and then any standing water that is either necessary or you can't remove it, treat it. We've got three great products here that are going to help you do this, that. They're very effective. Keep watching our Reclaim Your Backyard series. Next, I'm going to teach you how to use mosquito traps to reclaim your backyard.